And here we go. All right, all right, all right. And hey there, guys. Gals, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome to our presentation today. Nice to see all you guys in here from a law from all over. Uh people are in? We got them. Okay, fantastic. All right. Good. My name is Dr. Greg McLeod. I want to go ahead and make sure that we are recording. And I think we are. Yes. Uh, I want to welcome you to our presentation, Cracking the Code, Winning Strategies for Prop Trading Account Challenge in Forex. Can you type the number one in the chat box if you can hear me? You can hear my hear my voice and you can see clearly. Sound check, video check, check, check. Uh, Dr. Greg, their chat's disabled, so they can't type because I tried to have them type earlier while you were. Really? Okay. Yeah. Just... So. Wait. A okay. Let's. Can we? Uh, you guys can type in the question and answer right. section. Oh, Let's see. Oh, Somebody on, typed on. a one. Panelists, there. panelists can chat with everyone. Okay. Hold on. Attendees can chat with everyone. Try it now, guys. Hello. Hello. Yes, Jeff. How are you doing, Kim? All right, you got number one DC, you got number one. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Yeah, tell me where you guys are from. I know you try to inter interact. I see some of my Albuquerque, New Mexico. All right. Spring, Texas. Nice. And my daughter goes to Prairie View. She's in Greenland right now, but spring is not too far from Prairie View. Okay, everyone else is from someplace else. Okay, let's go ahead. All right, so we're gonna get get started. I'm gonna share my screen with you guys. And uh, you know, Jeff says hello. Jeff is one of our esteemed members. We got. Uh, let's go ahead. And like, I'm going to share screen too, and let's get get started with this. Okay. All right, and share. Okay. All right. So this is called uh, Cracking the Code, Winning Strategies for Prop Trading Account Challenge in Forex. And, uh, and then my name is Dr. Greg McLeod. I'm a 28-year Wall Street veteran, currency strategist. I used to work for one of the largest Forex broker dealers in the world. Um, and a lot of my work is still being used on the web for education and trading purposes. And I developed the Pip and Run system, a system that has netted me you know, millions of dollars in for our, our clients and students around the world. And so I'm so glad that you came and spent your time your Thursday evening with uh, with me. And I look forward to giving you uh, actionable strategies to help you in your trading. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing for sale here. This is just information to help you. And uh, so I look forward to being able to share with you. I, I came from public education. I taught middle school. I taught uh, middle school from, uh, you know, from 1989 to 2004, um, high school, uh, college. Uh, also, Bible school, I uh, you know, um, have an or ordination working with uh, uh, youth in Central Juvenile Hall. So I have a real heart for people. So I went to the markets and to Wall Street. It's a, they, they don't really care about helping people make money. And they don't help, really care about helping people. That's what they're called brokers. And that's how they keep your broker, right? But we, 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 we turn things on its end when we were able to create a, a system that actually um, help people make money. In fact, uh, we used to have clients that had millions of dollars in their trading accounts and they wouldn't trade because they were too afraid to trade. Can you imagine having a million dollars, two million dollars, you know, five hundred thousand dollars in an account and you won't trade because you're afraid to lose? Well, that was a situation that uh, we faced our brokerage, you know, years and years ago. Uh, but they saw that I had a high frequency trading system and they said, well, hey, we can get these people to start trading, turning their accounts. We could make commissions and spreads. So little did they know that the system actually had a, a, like a 90, 95% win rate. And those clients that was streamed, this was like circa 2007, 2008. So there wasn't all this, you know, streaming and YouTube stuff all around. So the information was very limited. And so you can imagine, you know, people were, were making like $5,000 here and $1,000 here. And, and, you know, thank you, Greg. Thank you, Greg. And this is a little chat box. So this is like the, the, the end of live trading because no one would trade live. Everyone, you know, trades historically. And so they made money. Great. And the and the broker is like, going, whoa, look, look, these people are trading more. Great, Greg. They're, you know, they're paying more spreads, more commissions. 
oh, yeah, they're making some profit too, but you know, we're making spreads and commissions, right? Now, the only people who are making money in, in this little game that we're doing is the banks, because the banks are counting on you to lose. The, you know, 90% of all traders lose. They extend all this credit to give you, the, the, you know, those, those high leverage accounts to trade because they know that 90% of the people will lose and they get the losses, right? Some of the brokers, they keep the losses too, but the banks or the liquidity providers, they take the other side of your trade. They're the casino that's taking the money, right? So now you have a situation where I'm teaching people a high frequency trading system and they're winning more than they're losing. And so one day the phone call came, ring, 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 what's going on? We just got hit for the euro for like, like, like $20 million. Oh, well, Greg is doing this live. Whatever Greg is doing, stop him. Ring, ring, ring. Hey, well, uh, hey, Greg, yeah, step in the office. Okay, sure. I'm going to get a promotion. I'm going to be head of uh, trading, some type of uh, systems department. He goes, I'll sign this. I go, oh, yeah, I'll sign it. I'm sure when I get a bonus or something, you're fired. Fired? Fired for what? Don't ask. Get out of here. Okay. Ring, ring, ring. Who are you? Oh, we're your, we're the guys that we, we used to watch your show. We used to watch your dip and run show. And uh, where are you? Uh, the new guy sucks, and we lose money every time that we we go to this guy. And it's like, well, I can't help you. I, I signed something. I can't help. I can't trade for you. He's like, well, can you teach us what you know? He's like, uh, yeah, I could. How much are you gonna pay me? And they, they well, we'll pay like fifty thousand dollars. We have fifty thousand dollars to fly where you are and train you guys. Like, yeah, sure. So that became the foundation of of the Elite Traders University. Now we don't, you know, we have other programs cost fifty thousand dollars, but the whole idea is helping people, giving them the system. It's the same system that hasn't changed. We really haven't changed it in all these years. But I'm going to show you how now that we have prop money available. That opens the door to so much more. And you're in such a fantastic spot, right? Because many of you are in prop accounts. How many people are in there in the trading room who are actually, um, you're in a prop trading challenge now, or you are, um, you know, or, 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 you've, or you've been in one? Let me know in the, in the chat box. Okay, what? Hey, I see Steve. There you go. I see Jeff. Okay, great. Okay. Awesome, awesome. And, and, and really, you, and Kim, not yet. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then if you're not in one, I'll show you a company that uh, I'm looking at now. I'm actually using them now. And uh, some of our students are using them. And they give it like 85% return. And we'll talk about that. We'll talk about the prop trade process. But I just want to show you, give you a little bit of my backstory so you understand where, I, where, I come, where I'm coming from. Uh, in this whole process, like you're like going, well, who is this guy? You know, this 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 Greg McLeod. You know, it's like you know, um, you know, it's like, uh, you know, no, who, who is he? What is he doing? Well, well, yeah, I mean, I, I trade a lot, and I and I, I do have losses, but I tell you what, even though I do this in a live account, I prop trading is a little bit different, right? Because they put all these artificial restrictions and you can't trade news and you can't trade this you can't trade that so even when you could do trade large accounts on your own the prop trading challenge is a completely different thing i'm going to show you how how to overcome those issues like like a, like good friend jacobus is here I'm like, he's one of our prop trading guys here i like to like glad to see him you know like lots of you see these pictures of people and you're like, oh yeah somebody's photoshop guy no He's a real guy, Jay Goosen in there. He's a he's a trading hero. Another trading hero is say, oh, Steve Bryant, another trading hero. Okay. So anyway, before I just get risk this thing, make sure you see all the associated foreign exchange trading, and uh, and let you know that the you know these past performance is not an indication of future results. Okay. And uh, you no, know, I want to share with you what are the key strategies used in successful top traders to win at prop trading challenges. And how to navigate the volatile market and uh, to come out victorious. And today we're going to pull back the curtain and reveal those three big tips I'm going to share with you. Right. And so why listen to me? I, I spent nearly three decades at, on, the, on Wall Street. I have uh, witnessed the highs and lows, trends and patterns, successes and failures, and I've dedicated my life to understanding the intricacies of the market, honing my skills uh, as a as a, a market strategist and trader. 
and I'm going to reveal some things that will definitely be uh, of help to you, right? So, and you know, we have a pure step-by-step -step process. We start with virtual trading fundamentals, you know, know what to trade and when to trade, very important. What are the next best currencies, risk management, and how to find the best trades using our, our, our my top secret tool that's one of my favorite, uh, like a Swiss army knife uh, of information that you can use. But, but trading strategies, technical analysis, you want to be able to, to gain understanding of, of on how to use market trends to your advantage, right? Um, because being able to, to follow those where the big money is flowing and being able to uh, find those, those, those very good entry points that will give you a very low risk, high reward. Those are those A plus setups, which if you were in a prop trading challenge, you know what those A plus setups look like. And we'll show you like how to maximize those when you get them and when you no know, to lay off the gas and not really press your brats and adjust your risk accordingly so you can continue to trade in a consistent uh, uh, consistent uh, basis. Now, you want to master technical tools. You want to use things like moving averages, relative strength index, and, uh, and RSI to, to create a picture that is clear that you can see and being able to see that on multiple time frames. You want to be able to look at a higher time frame. You don't want to trade like a pirate. You know, a pirate has one eye because he got you know, maybe shot in the eye of a musket. He has one, like one hand, he's a hook because he got like sliced by a sword. And maybe, you know, he has one leg because he got eaten by a shark or something like that, right? So the, the, the pirate trader is a person that looks at one time frame on his phone and you miss out on the entire view of the market, right? So we want to use multiple time frame analysis to be able to be able to discern this, those things alone, trading with the higher time frame trend and look for entries on the lower time frame. So when the higher time frame is up, we want to look when the lower time frame is down and look for that over oversold when the higher time frame is up, right? So that's mastering those technical tools and being able to learn these the, the strategies like this. Okay. So mastering the market. Good trading fundamentals, you want master market understanding, and you want to understand what's going on, like what the big picture is. Like right now, the, it, the whole picture is about inflation. And so it may be you have to turn into like tune into Bloomberg or CNBC and listen to what the big money is talking about, checking your economic calendar and being able to see what are they talking about. It's like why are, why is the dollar selling off or why is it rising? Why is the euro doing this? And the big thing is, is inflation right now. Before it was Brexit and before it was uh, COVID. And so different things will, will, the market will fixate their mind. Maybe it's an interest rate announcement. Um, and so if you bury your head in the sand and you're not aware of what's going on economically in the news, well, then you're going to get, you know, back, you know, get your head, you know, you're going to get, uh, you know, blindsided by by news and these events that are going on those are those core economic principles that are part of the understanding right now knowing when to trade and and what to trade timing is everything in the forex market knowing what to trade when to trade can be the difference between failure and success and i was actually talking to someone about high volatility low volatility markets when the market is moving as for a big move like we have huge moves in cpi where we have big giant thrust moves, you'll see the market move sideways after that, like it's catching its breath, right? But typically at those points, what will happen is traders will say, oh, I made all this money when the market shot up like this, let me get back in again. And then what happens is um, they get chopped up and they wind up giving all those gains back, um, you know, during those times of a, a flat consolidation, right? And those may be the times that you need to step away when your A plus setup isn't showing up or after there was a big, a big move or a big run in the market. Okay. So you want to be able to, uh, to, to be able to discern those things and see them clearly. Okay. And we can use oscillator like stochastics to pinpoint entries looking for confluence of an oscillator and price at support and resistance. Right. Now we also want to look at pairs which are very liquid 
like I was talking to someone, they were trading Singapore, South African Rand, Singapore dollar. I'm like going, do you know the spreads on that are very wide? And it doesn't move very, it moves very quickly, but the margin is very, it requires a lot of margin to control that. And it's not really tied in anything. Like I, I, South Africa, I, you know, I love South Africa, but I don't know anything about their economy. I don't, Singapore, I don't know much about their economy either. Um, so we want to trade uh, currencies which have a high amount of liquidity, which means they have a high amount of interest. The US dollar and the euro uh, control about 85% of the total volume. So we use my market heat map is real simple. Green is uptrending, red is downtrending. And we can see this is a risk on market where the dollar is being sold off and the dollar pairs are actually trending down. And I keep things simple. I like colors and shapes. I taught, I taught middle school, so I keep things really simple. So you want to look at the seven best currency pairs, which are the, they're called the majors because they have the USD in them, okay? Um, they have low spreads. The spreads are tight, like one pip spread. A spread is the cost of doing business. Like, it's like wholesale and retail. You buy some sneakers, you buy them at the wholesale warehouse, you know, they're one price, and you sell them on the street for another price. That difference is your profit, and that's the spread, right? And so the spread, when you see two prices on a chart, then you're looking at the spread between the buyers, the, 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 the uh, wholesale and retail. We buy at the higher price, we sell at the lower price, right? Uh, and, and the uh, broker keeps the part in the middle, right? Now we have something that, that is a really like a widespread, like gold, it moves very fast and it can make it that spread very quickly, okay? But we wanna trade the majors because they respond to the news they tie with the US stock market. Like the first four here, they move in the same direction usually as the US stock market. And the US stock market is in the news and people talk about it. Like when the stock market is, like right now, I think it's down like 200 points because the Fed is talking about raising interest rates more. Well, guess what? This picture would flip. We would see dollar CAD, dollar Swiss, and dollar yen at the top and it will be green. And all of these would be red. Real simple, green, red, binary, right? In fact, let me show you a chart. The most traded currency pairs, the euro, 28%. One of the most, wide, most widely traded instrument is the euro dollar, other than maybe uh, dilithium crystals and cold press lanthanum if you're a Star Trek fan, right? The next one in line is the dollar yen, 13% of all Forex volume. Can you imagine $6.1 trillion which is more than the stock market, the commodities market, and the stock markets of the world all combined together. And out of, the, out of those, the, the euro dollar is the most traded financial instrument on the planet, okay? Which is very astounding. Dollar yen, 13%. Pound dollar is 11%. And then we have the, the Aussie dollar, 6%. See, our majors make up the still... The, uh, the, the top ones, and then the other currencies like the yen pairs, they make up a smaller amount. But can you imagine if you're trading something like the South African shekel versus you know the Turkish lira versus the shekel, it's gonna be very tiny. And so there's not gonna be a lot of um, interest in that. Okay. So again, I developed my marquee map myself and it makes it a very cool tool for scanning the market very quickly without looking through a whole bunch of charts. But what you don't want to do on these challenges is you don't want to cheat, right? You want to learn how to trade. You know, a lot of people, what they're doing is they're hiring people to pass the challenge for them. Now that you pass the challenge, you, know, you pay someone, you know, several hundred dollars, they pass the challenge for you, and now you have to trade on your own. And now it's like being on American Idol or America's Got Talent, and you pay to get on stage because you think you're going to get a record contract, you get the record contract, and you can't sing, and you get booed off stage. So, you know, that's not really, really worth it. Or you could buy signals, and some people have had success with that, but with the signals stop, well, then now, or they stopped working, okay? Um, then, you're, then you're really out of luck, because you don't know how to trade, right? So you don't want to hire someone to do it, or copy off someone or other things like that, uh, because you really want to have confidence in your system that 
you want to do this challenge because you have demonstrated to yourself that, hey, I can do this. I'm doing this to get you know fifty thousand or hundred thousand dollars, so people I can trade this money and keep eighty five percent of it. I mean that's a good deal, right? Good. So that's what we want to do. You want to stick to your plan and trade with integrity. And um, if you don't have a plan or if you don't have uh, a methodology, but you want to, you say, Greg, but I need you understand, man. I need the money to trade because I got to do this. Well, then maybe you need to invest in yourself. Maybe instead of spending $500, $200, $400, $500, dollars on challenges all the time. I know people spend $2,000 a month in challenges, but they don't know how to trade. And um, they could really invest in, 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 in education and cut really short circuit their, short circuit their, uh, short, shorten their learning curve. I have guys like, like Jeff and like, and like uh, Cobus. They, they, they're doing things that I couldn't do and it took me, it would take me 10 years to learn how to do. Uh, but because I, they're using my experience, it takes them, it took them like a year or less, like two years to even to do, to do what it took me 10 years. So you're shaving a lot of time, saving a lot of money on challenges when you do that. But anyway, I don't want to go into that. I'm just going to assume that you have a system and you still, it's not working for you, okay? So, and we talked about not buying signals and, and why um, and, and, and using EAs and things like that. Um, but I'm going to give you the tips. Let me give you the meat of what you can use right now to, in order to change your trading and change your, the way you perform. Is I'm going to, it, and it's totally not going to make any sense because you know, um, traditional knowledge tells you, oh, yeah, begin with the end in mind. You begin with the end in mind here, you're going to lose money. Why? So I'm going to tell you tip number one is to stop focusing on the goal. What, Greg? Stop focusing on the goal? Stop focusing on the 10%. Stop focusing on, you know, getting 80% of the profits and living a laptop lifestyle. Yes, I'm telling you exactly that. Stop focusing on that. Because what will start to happen is you get down 1%, you lose 1% of your account. And now what you're going to try, your focus is now on how can you make that 1% back? And then you lose again. Now you're down 2%. Now you're going to go, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm down 2%. Oh, I'm down 3%. Now your focus is on is defensive. How can I how can I make up? And the thing that you focus your mind on grows. So if you're focusing on making up losses, you're just gonna make more losses. It's just the law of of of, of the, the law if you don't law of attraction and mindset. Everyone's talking about the thing that you hold in conscious mind will manifest itself. So if you're if you keep focusing on oh man I gotta dig myself out of this hole well guess what the hole gets bigger okay so we're gonna show you something different to do right in fact Bruce Lee said a goal is not always meant to be reached it often serves simply as something to aim for right we want to aim right but we want to focus on our process I'm gonna bring it you know you want to focus on your steps focus on step one step two step three not on your goal you want to focus in on trading well. You have a system, you have a process. Many of the guys who are in here, you know who I'm talking to. You know Pip and Run. You know the process. And you know that you can you know this 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 kill it with thousands of winning trades. However, we're you're focused in on the goal, the 10%. And then you focus in the losses. And then it eats at you. And all of a sudden now you're performing like an amateur. You're like going, wait, I, this is totally not like me. Right. Actually, someone told me like they they had a win, they had one all morning. They left one trade open and the one trade wiped out their games. Right. It's, be, it's because, you know, the, the, the loss of focus. So um, the whole remember the whole challenge is designed to put pressure on you so you will lose so you can pay another fee. Right. That's what it's all about. Now. My, one of my heroes here, Amir, he was able to realize that. He was able to focus in on the process, focus in on making the right steps. And got, you know, Star got, a, got he passed the, the My Forex Fund Challenge and was able to get his funded account. And we're really proud of Amir and what he was able to do in, in Turkey, you know, and Turkey had a big earthquake and he was able to have money to be able to pay and help his family move 
from the war torn, uh, the, from the earthquake torn, and be able to, to help to help his family out. Because why? He was able, he invested in my course, he, he learned, he was a very diligent student, and he was able to get his certificate and pass. And so really proud of him, right? So the next tip I'm gonna give you, tip number two is to embrace your emotions. You're not Dr. Spock, you know, Spock was a character from uh, Star Trek, he didn't have any emotions. He was half human, so he was fighting his emotions, right? It was, everything was logical. Uh, but we're going to have emotions. You're going to feel times of elation when you're winning. You're going, yeah, ring the bell. Yeah. And then times like, oh, crap, this thing is moving in the wrong direction. But I'm not telling you, you know, people say, well, fight your emotions and this and this. I want you to embrace them. I want you to be able to take a pulse and say to yourself, to say, Kim or Jeff or Jacobus, how are you feeling? How am I feeling? Just step back and will treat yourself like a patient. And you can say, well, look, I feel I feel sad or feel depressed or I feel mad because the trade went against me. And that's okay to feel it. But what you won't wanna do is to allow that emotion, to act from that emotion in a vengeful manner and actually have it to control you. In fact, you know, Winford, where Miller says, an actor's job is to embrace emotions and situations that in real life we spend all our time running away from, right? And trade, I take that word actor and put trader, and that's what we want to do too. Because you know what, you've got that. Even though you're, you may be down, you have to act like a professional trader. You must act the part of a, a multi-million dollar fund manager. You have to put in that mind, like Jesus put in the mind that was in Christ Jesus. Put that mind on. You have to put that mind on, that says, yeah, I am a loss, but I am a professional trader, and professional traders have losses. Right. So when you change your mindset, see if you you you're not going, you can control your emotions. If you um, Warren Buffett says, if you can't control your emotions, you can't control your money. And if you let your emotions determine how you trade, then you've lost complete control. And so you really want to not just you say, well, Greg, what, what do you mean by that? Well, you can not act on those emotions, right? Like if you make a mistake, don't say, oh, just like me, what a dummy. It always happens to me, always just like it is. Welcome to my world. I heard one trader say, well, welcome to my world. When he got stopped out, it's like, I'm not in your world. I'm sorry, my world, I make money in my world, okay? Welcome to my world. Watch me hit this baby, boom, right? I got my setup, I got my crossover. So I want to be able to, to do that, to be able to focus and on, on, on what you are, who you are, who you say you are, okay? You don't want to trash talk yourself. Well, I'm no good at this. And I'm always, always messing up, you know? You have to change your self-talk. You say, no, this is not like me. I, I always, if you listen to like, I you know a lot of the rap lyrics, you know, are, if you listen to some of the positive ones, they're always like pumping themselves up. Yeah, I'm, you know, I rule the street and I'm this, I'm that, I'm that, I am, I am. They're always saying they're they're up there, they're always lifting themselves up, right? Now, so that that self-talk that you say with that you do will will lift you up. Your out your attitude will determine your altitude. So you want you want to eliminate the negative self-talk about, you know, excuses or giving up, oh, it always happens this way. You know, no, your trading is getting better and better. From now on, from this point, from the time you heard my voice, your trading is getting better and better each and every day. You need to say that, write that down, I'll post it, put it on your mirror, wake up and see it and say it. And even though your trading may like, like they said, well, I'm lying to myself. It's like, no, you're, you know, you're creating, you're, you're creating with your words. You're creating this loop. I mean, this is you know, self-talk. What you accept as truth about yourself turns into your self-image, right? And then your self-image turns into your behavior. So let's do self-talk. Oh, I suck at trading. I can't believe I no, I always, I always I always get stopped out. Well, guess what? You're gonna be a person that's always stopped out. And your behavior, guess what? Your next trade, you're gonna get stopped out, right? So you wanna break that cycle. And use your words. It says death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat of its fruit. Okay.
choose this day a blessing or a curse. Okay. So you're going to use your words to actually support yourself. You, know, you have to be your own best supporter. And no one else is going to do it for you. Your wife might not believe what you're doing. Your kids might not believe what you're doing. Your husband may not believe what you're doing. Your, your family and friends say you're wasting your time. You're a dreamer. Just get a job like everybody else. And I will tell you, you tell, you know, you're devil, you are a lie. You know, I can do all things to Christ Jesus who strengthens me. And you speak your word in your mind to yourself and uplift yourself. Okay. Because you can do this. Right. I believe in you. Like Tacovis. He got a funded trader account and amazing trader, but he we had to change his self-talk because he was in a dark place. They don't mean they only want me, but won't don't want me telling on you. But I think you're gonna help a lot of people by your story. And between Jamie, uh, Jamie, another master trader uh, who runs our live trading room, fantastic individual who shares. And, you know, Jeff, fantastic individual, uh, Sherry. Um, and, you know, I said, we have a three-step process. We have a stage one video. We have stage two video. We have stage three video where you, we, 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 we look at our victories, what we know that we, what we learned that we didn't know before. And we, and we pass certain benchmarks, 90% win rate by stage one simulation, double your account and demo, and then take a small live account and double that. And then you go to the funded trader program or go to one of the prop trading firms after you pass those three steps. So I go, Jacobus, you have, you have passed three stages of our program. There's no reason why you can't be a funded trader. Look at what you have done. Look at all these posts. I went back in his chat and pulled all these posts of all the things he did, how he helped other traders posting trading ideas and setups. And he was down on himself and they turned it around. And so turned it around where he had 98.61% loss rate, a win rate, sorry, win rate, lost, lost 1.39%. He placed 78 trades. And Jeff says, Kobus is a master now. Show your sheet. And he showed his sheet. Trades placed 78. Can you imagine winning 98.6? That's a fever right there, man. That's amazing. I'm so proud of him. I've known him for years, right? We go back. We go back 2018, brother, but he, he wasn't involved. He didn't get involved in the course until like last year, right? Um, and many of you are on the fence too. Maybe you're waiting. You're, it's too expensive. I don't want to do that. But what's more expensive? Maybe putting pouring money into these challenges and not actually um, knowing what you're doing, okay? But again, um, I get COVID's, Congratulations. And he says, thank you, doctor. Could not have done it without you. Yeah. And without me and our community, we have a very supportive community with Jeff and with Jamie and with uh, Steve, everybody's supporting each other. And so that's what's powerful. Not doing it alone. DIY trading alone, I did that before I had a community. So now we have a community and now we support each other and we are happy when people are are succeeding, right? So uh, the, this is the last tip I'm gonna give you. And this is the money tip, which you guys have been waiting for, the, uh, and the three tips to prop trading success. And tip number three, use house money to increase your risk, okay? Use, and this is like totally like, this is counterintuitive, Greg, what are you telling us to? Go all in? No, but I tell you what, if you're going super conservative, right? See, they want you, the whole goal of the challenge is to make you run out of time, putting these constraints. So you run out of time. You know, I had uh, Arnie, you guys know Arnie, Arnie FX? He had, he was right there. He was a little short, just ran out of time. And he didn't pass the challenge because he was, you know, he had like, he had 8% and he needed 10 and he needed some more time. He ran out, right? Um, so they, they, they put this pressure on you. And so if you're playing defense and you're maybe risking 0.25% or 0.5, well, guess what? You've just made the challenge harder because instead of needing, you know, if you know, 10 trades at 1%, you need 10 trades, right? But now you're doing 0.5, now you need 20 trades, right? Now you're putting, you're making it harder on yourself, right? 
So one of the ways that we can uh, to mitigate that is to yeah play conservative 0 0.5, 0 0.25, but the moment you accumulate a buffer of of two percent, and now you've got now you've got cas the casino, the house. When I mean the house, when I'm talking about casino, right? Like when you're playing. When you're playing, you got now you risk your money, but now you've made money and now you have a cushion. Now you can take that cushion and increase your risk from 0.5 to 1 to 1.5 to 2%. Okay, I would even push it to 3%. If on only on those setups, which are you know the perfect setup. Okay. You've seen it. You hit it. As soon as you hit it, it jumps up and you know you're making like 20, 30 pips, like in a matter. No flashback, right? But you played it safe and you played risk, you know, risk management. I'm risking no more than 0.5% 0, 0 on an A plus monster trade. And then you get like, oh my God, you know, you get $5 out of something that could have made you $500 out of it, right? So you got to know when um, leverage is a tool at dual edged sword, it can magnify gains and losses. And so think of it like, you know, the Forex is like having a Ferrari, right? And you have 500 to one leverage. You step on the accelerator, you can go 300 miles an hour, but you can have an accident, right? And, but if you drive it at like 30 miles an hour, it's like, you're not really benefiting from the, 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 the feeling and the, the whole concept of driving a supercar, right? But you want to be wise when using leverage. Or like when you're driving a car. If I'm driving a fast car or a sports car, I can drive 80, 90 miles an hour, probably in a straightaway, right? You see a straightaway, you can press it when it's legal, of course. You know, like we have some highways in Austin where you can drive like 85, 90 miles an hour, right? But I'm not going to do that on a hairpin turn. I'm not going to do it in a curve, you know, switchback highway, right? Why? Because the switchback curves are dangerous. I could kill myself. So I'm not going to go full speed that, but I will, lower, I will lower my speed. I'll take my foot off the accelerator so I can go through those curves, right? But when I'm on that straightaway, boom, I'm, I'm hitting it, baby. My foot, that, uh, my, you know, got my pedal to the metal, right? Why? Because a straightaway, the risk of crashing and doing something stupid goes down. And so similarly, adjust your risk to take advantage of those cushion of profits that you have. And then on, but only on A plus setups. And we know that we have our setups in our, in our, in our program um, that we, we talk about, you know, the slingshots and, and the falling wedges and those things. Uh, we, 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 we talk about those, right? And there's some patterns, like I was trading in the winter circle this morning with, um, uh, with Joe, and Joe took a trade uh, just before the uh, the PPI news, a long Aussie dollar. Okay, and he says I don't feel really good about this setup, but I'm going to trade is in his live account. And he says I'm just going to trade a little bit, so I'll reduce my position size, and it went up a little bit. He got out. As soon as he got out, the thing dropped. Right, the spike up, you know, fishing everybody in, and then it dropped. And then you know, and then he was able to you know. Now then we got our setup and then he was able to go larger size on a setup which was better suited for that type of a move, right? So you take that uh, account of a, a gentleman by the name of Robert and uh, Robert had passed two challenges using my uh, system. And this is actually his funded trader account that he actually did. And he made $47,000 in, in, uh, in just a matter of, in the single day. And what he was doing is taking, well, once he got that cushion, his first trade at 14855 he took that cushion and started applying that and maximizing his, his, his gains. So this is his funded, was, was, was his funded account. And now the key is making sure that you can keep a funded account, right? Remember, if you're given $200,000 a trade, you do 10, 10% a month, and it took you, so think about 10% a month, that's like 2.1, 2.3% per week. You can keep that account and make 20 and live off of 20,000 or even do half that. Do 1% and do $10,000 a month. $10,000 a month is a pretty good thing. The thing about it, if you try to scale that to like a million, 
and now you're oh, going into greed, right? Not being satisfied, then you could lose everything, right? And um, that's sometimes what happens. You don't want to get a funded account and get all the way to the top and blow up your account, you know? I mean, that's what think of, you know, that, get into the emotion feeling of that. That would really suck, right? I don't know if anyone in this room has ever had that happen. But really, you want to uh, to watch that, and it can happen. And I don't track individual traders. You know, you no, know, they tell me, but if they disappear for a while, I kind of think of maybe they 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 don't have their account anymore. And so there's no guarantee that once you pass a challenge, that you will continue to keep your account. Okay, that oh, automatically you're going to be permanently making money for the rest of your life. You still have to work hard with your mindset, with your emotions. With you know how you manage your account, your risk management, your system, all those things, you have to continue to be vigilant because you never want to go back and and not uh, and 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 lose what you've accomplished, right? Um, so I asked them when I first got there, like, do you get to keep a percentage? They told me eighty percent. You paid a thousand dollars for the account, which is not a bad deal. Passed two challenges, took them two weeks, and they got the thousand dollars back, and uh, he, he gives glory to God. And I can't thank you enough. I said, praise the Lord. Thank you for sharing this great news and trusting the process, right? So that was, that was Robert from Houston, right? And you, yes, you can. You can do this. You, you can do this. You can do this, right? And this guy you know, recognized that it's not what you, it's not what you know so much, it's how you, your mindset and how you approach it. Now, if you approach the market with desperation, I've got to do this because I have to do this and I have to do that. Then you're operating from a scarcity mindset. And the what you know, what if he who has not, even what he doesn't have will be taken from him. That's the other part of the parable of the talents. In fact, I ran this whole system, my whole elite trader's university is based on the parable of the talents, which is what gave me inspiration for my system. You know, remember there was a man, he gave his servants one, he gave two talents, which is a you no. Know, a thousand pounds of gold. It's a talent is a measure of gold. He gave one, two, he gave one, five, he gave another guy one. And the guy with two, he traded. The word trade is in the Bible. And he doubled his account. He went from two and made two more. He says, well done, good and faithful servant. Because you've been faithful of little, you'll be given much. And the guy who had five talents, right? He took five, he traded and made five more, right? And he said the same thing. You know, uh, well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful of little, you've been given much. Come on in into my rest, right? And but the guy who had won, he was like, Oh, I'm gonna bury in the ground because this guy looks like he's mean. And if I lose his money, um, he'll come at me or something like that. Well, anyway, um, he came back to here, master. Uh, here's the one talent that you gave me. He had it wrapped in a, a blanket or a napkin, he buried it, and the and the, and the guy was the furious, was like going, You worthless, lazy servant. You could have at least, at least, at least put it in the bank and get interest, get usury or interest, right? That's the least thing. If you didn't trade it, you could have at least put it in the bank. The guy didn't even put it in the bank. He put it in the ground. And the master said, take that from the guy who has the one and give it to the guy that has 10. And they're like going, well, why? I mean, that's not fair. Why are we taking from the... And the master goes on to say this, that he who has much more will be given unto him, but he who has not, even what he doesn't have will be taken away from him. And that's completely different than the way we have in our society. We take from the people that have and we give it to the people that have not. Judas wanted to take the perfume from Jesus and sell it and give it to the poor, right? And Jesus said, you always have the poor with you, right? So the whole idea of this, when I'm saying this, is that if you say you don't have and that you need, the market will say, oh, you want to be needy, and you'll become more needy. But you have to have a wealth mindset, a growth mindset, even in the face of maybe you're going through a, 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 a temporary period of Maybe uh, then someone says, "Oh, I'm broke." It's like, no, you're probably you're just in a cash flow crunch, right? You're in a you're in a cash flow crunch. Money will come to you, 
um, this is it's a little delayed, right? So you want to act from a, a state of, of abundance mindset, right? And, and then you were able to, to operate in the markets. Because if you operate from need, I have to have this to pay this, it never, ever works, right? Um, now, closing remarks, I want to thank you for joining me for this, uh, this lecture, this, this, this uh, lecture, this, this preaching. Like, I do like, Greg, it's not church. What are you doing? I, I mean, the, show me some love in the chat box. Did any of this, was this helpful? Would you like hashtag a nugget? Let me know. Show me some love in the chat box if, uh, if this was helpful. Amen. Amen. Yeah, and also if you're a bit, if you're interested and you have uh, we have a free invitation for a free strategy call. And I know her name is Nichelle is placing links in the chat box to those people. Um, so if you want to have more knowledge, maybe you need some help with looking at uh, uh, you know planning a strategy or working with your strategy or even how to even uh, just to get started. Like Greg, you know, I just I. I'm, I honestly, I don't have a strategy. Yeah, I know Winston Churchill said, you plan to, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And I'm failing because I don't have a plan. My plan was just, I'm going to get a winning trade and make a bunch of money. And that's not the plan that I want to do. I want, I want guidance. I want, I want direction. I want a plan, Greg. Help me out. Show me a different way. I want to be a professional trader. I you know I, I'm willing to, to learn. I'm willing to to hear what you guys have to say. So if you're ready, uh, sign up for a free strategy call. And also, it's a limited time offer. Uh, the, we, this call will discuss your trading goals, how you can leverage the power of Forex trading to achieve them. Uh, this one-on-one -on -one call with a member of my team uh, will, uh, will give you a chance to tap into our wealth of experience and gain personalized insights and strategies tailored to your needs. And so that's a, a, a thing that we're offering uh, for free right now. But uh, so during this call, let's go, no, not a sales call, but you're going to gain a deeper understanding of the Forex trading principles and strategies. You'll receive personalized guidance on how to implement these strategies into your own trading approach and to get insights into risk management techniques and how to protect your capital. Because that's the number one goal of, uh, of, a, of a trader is capital preservation. And you have the opportunity to ask questions and to receive expert advice specific to your trading journey and learn about additional resources and educational materials to further enhance your trading skills if you'd like, right? Um, so book your call and to claim your free strategy call, simply visit our website and you can schedule uh, leadtraderslive.com forward slash coach. Now, for those of you that are like, I don't know what prop trading account is. I'm really interested in finding more about that. Well, then um, let me go ahead and uh, uh, here is we have Blue Guardian. You can use your phone and you can like use the uh, QR code and get funded now. If you have a strategy that like, like ah, Greg, I'm looking for a good uh, uh, a good prop trading firm that, that that's trusted. 85% profit split is one of the highest in the industry, and they give you like 100 to one leverage. If and then um, you can use this link here, bit.ly forward slash elite blue for you, and you can go sign up. And you can get a $10,000 account for about $97. And um, it's a very good, uh, you know, your first target, I use make 800 bucks for your first, uh, you know, and you get the, and guess what? I think you get to keep the, uh, if you able to achieve the, the challenge, you get to keep, you get the refund of your fee. And I think they do a, a, a commission a equity split of what you made. So you could scale up that $10,000 account and keep part of the profits on that, which I think is pretty, pretty neat too. Okay. Um, so let's get back. If you have any questions, I'll open the floor to any questions you may have. Feel free to ask anything related to Forex or, or about the strategy call or about the market in general right now. I'll leave myself here for the next 10 minutes to answer any questions you may, may have. And uh, again, I wanna thank you so much. If you have to go, completely understand if you do, but if you have any questions, well, feel free to uh, pop them in the chat box. I, and then um, the chat box is working now. It wasn't working before I uh, opened it. I see a Q and A. Oh, Steve Allen, been in twice and didn't make it a great session. When I first saw the title about cracking the code, I was thinking of some answer that learned. Oh, this is a great one uh, from Steve, Steve Allen. It was a great session. When I first saw the title about cracking the code, I was thinking, I have a simple answer for that. Learn to trade like Dr. McLeod, right? Oh, and then I want to get back to Jeff, 
he posted something in the chat box. Let me scroll back up to his link. He posted in there. He says, this is a uh, Jeff. And, oh, whoa, Jeff. <laughs> this is uh, the, the Giazza link, guys. If you want, if you see that, you can you can click that. I'll, I'll, I'll repost it. But he's one of our, he's one of ours. He's one of our best, one of our finest. And uh, that's what he did today. I mean, this is the date, the 13th. And he uh, sold gold, 10, 10, uh, 10 lots of gold. Uh, of, oh, silver, silver. You trade silver. Now you're getting exotic. I mean, uh, Jeff. Jeff, are you online? Are you, are you, are you, are you here, Jeff? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, yeah. Jeff, can you, uh, I'm like, can you say something? Oh, absolutely. How you doing, Dr. Greg? Michelle? Hey, Colonel, how you doing, sir? Doing great. Um, yeah, I know, uh, Jamie challenged me to to take silver as my new new pair, so that's what I was trying to do today. <laughs> trying, yeah. I don't know. We think we think about that, guys. Do you try? Do you try hard enough? <laughs> well, and Dr. Greg, as I said in there, you know, I, I probably wouldn't have been as successful without your help updating my system and getting the right you know software and stuff in there. So uh, I say to the folks that I just put in the chat for anyone on the fence. There's no one else that I walk with you like Dr. Greg does. Um, so, uh, you know, and then there's all of us as students. We we support one another, you know. So uh, Derek is on, Kobe was on, Steve was on. We all have talked many, 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 many times and shared charts and, and talked different, you know, trades through. So uh, it's a great place to be with Elite Traders University and you know, I thank you, Dr. Greg. Thank you, Michelle. And thank you to all the other current students that we have. You know, thanks for helping me become a professional, successful trader. You're welcome, Jeff. And thank you for those kind words, brother. God bless you, man. Yeah. God bless you too. Very cool. Yeah. And, and then that's what, that, yeah, you know, you can only have so many fancy cars and so many, you know, gold chains, whatever not, but my, I'm still a middle school teacher at heart, and you know, you know, and being able to help people um, achieve their goals if they're willing to invest in themselves. I said, you, I could never. I was trained by Mark Douglas. He was not cheap. He was not free. He took my seven thousand dollars. <laughs> I was like, you gave that white man how much? Yeah, yeah, but he he's like, show me how to get. A... But I made. You can see I made many, 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 many times more than what Mark Douglas taught me. And the great thing about it was that you know he passed away in 2015. No one can ever be trained by Mark Douglas ever again. But I was willing to invest in my training with him, and um, and, and and everything has been been wonderful um, as a result of that um, of of my investment, uh, my my investment with him. And so I, I invite you to. It shaved years, you know. I mean, it took me; it still took me ten years, uh, you know, up to that point. Then it took like maybe like six months. Like, oh my god, really? I wasted all this time here, right? Um, so, but so it's, so I can save you time because where Jeff is in his trading, like that's where at the lecture hall where, where he taught me. And uh, I mean, when he saw the system that we came up with uh, back then. He was very impressed by that, and so that is, um, a very, you know, very, very, very cool that I was able to. Uh, and and, uh, and he was uh, very caring, very supportive, and everyone has a coach. I mean, think you know, Rihanna has a voice coach. I mean, like the girl can blow, but yet she has a voice coach, right? Every you know, Tom Brady had a quarterback coach, and Tiger Woods has a swing coach. So these people are at the top of their game and they had someone still have someone guiding them even in what they're able to do. So well, because they can afford to, but they could afford to if they didn't have the talent um, that was groomed by someone that helped them. But uh, sometimes you may just need a, a tuning, just a little bit of a tune 
talking to one of us and all of a sudden your tray is like, boom, we've had, I remember Tracy, Tracy Anderson was one of my students um, from Australia. Uh, actually, she signed up after she won like a world global championship, but they didn't have prop trading back then. Let's say by Tracy. And uh, I was on the cover of, um, of this Forex magazine because, you know, no one ever really, no, no, no one ever, uh, no, very few people um, had actually, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's Tracy. Um, did, uh, yeah, from, from Australia, a uh, top trader that was top, the top, top trader was the, uh, was the, was the, the magazine that was headlined in. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She finished first place going into the weekend on the top trader leaderboard. And then she got knocked to second. But she finished second second in the world, and uh, so that was a, a very cool uh, as a as a pippin. Now, and that was after a strategy call, which is pretty cool. Uh, I see Antares Vision. Hi, Greg. Can you take me from zero to the higher level, please? Uh, definitely. I we've had guys that didn't know what a pip was. Uh, that's I just talked to him yesterday. Yeah, Travis. I don't know if Travis is online, and then uh, Travis is fantastic. Yeah, he like didn't know what a pip was. Which is there he is, Travis. Oh, Tra <laughs> you're here. Very cool, Travis. Can you can you share? We have we have someone who's in a similar situation. Can you like? Um, you guys are nice enough to come out to the. Sure, Coach. What do you want me to say? Yeah, we say. Well, we talked to someone who's who. Uh, this is someone who's brand new to trading. They just said that they uh, said, "Hi, Greg. Can you take me from zero to the to a higher level?" It, can can I do it? Is it is it possible? I don't know. Yes, you can. Absolutely. And I never thought I would say that. You know, you always watch these YouTube commercials and stuff. You're like, come on. Like, that would never be me. But it's me. Uh, I didn't know what a pip was. And after about oh, two months, three months, I figured it out. And everything's going really well. Yeah. This, this is this completely very is, is handsome and dapper. And, and if it's a uh, trading computer and he's a, a, a real winner. Yeah. So definitely. Thank you so much, Travis. Yeah, no problem. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, I see Cobus is online. Cobus, can you uh, share with us? W where are you? What's going on with you? Good morning. Good morning. What time is it? At? Where are you? Um, Qatar. It's now uh, four o'clock in the morning at the moment. Oh, um, yeah. Me. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I literally, yeah. Just as as you were talking, I just uh, went short on the on on the pound yen, uh, just using the strategy, and uh, yeah, just uh, just scored uh, uh, two two ten. 10 pip trades and then one 20 pip trade. So yeah, that was uh, just some quick bucks. I just uh, posted posted my guys do there as well. So yeah, what? are you? Wait, it's, posted? it's been an awesome journey. Where where you posted in the um, in the chat, chat the chat link? Which one? Stage three or pip and no run? no in the in the webinar in the webinar oh, chat. Oh, there there you go. My goodness, look at you guys. Oh snap! Okay, guys, look you can't. Oh, he photoshopped that. I mean, look, hey, look, seven fourteen. It's tomorrow. It's not even today yet. It's tomorrow over there. <laughs> I mean, this is like mind blowing, man. It's like pound yen. He rode the dragon down, shorted at one eighty ninety two, got it at one eighty ninety eight. Fourteen oh three was your uh, entry. Look, fourteen oh three fifty three twenty five, and you got fourteen oh three or three fifty five. Two minutes. Yeah, that was <laughs> it was it was just it was perfect. I was, but I've been I've been watching it and waiting the whole time while you're busy. I was just and it was it, it all came down to being patient and waiting for the strategy and the setup to to align with what we what do we want to happen. So yeah, I just sat and be were patient and yeah, got in and out in a couple of minutes. 
Wow. So you made seven. This this your this your prop account. That's a, um, this is my uh, prop account, and I yeah, and then I had one one that made twenty pips, uh, which was double double that, um, just just closed out now as well. Wow, that's amazing! Got ring the bell. I got to ring the bell on this one. <laughs> so, 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 what is your advice? What do you so for people who are have any uh, what what Doctor Greg has taught us and. It, it's been an amazing journey, um, but yeah, from from my side, I, th I think my my biggest challenge, um, uh, Doctor Greg taught me a lot and then helped me a lot with my um, psychological part as well. But for me, that's always been the biggest part and teaching me to be patient and waiting waiting for the market. I mean, there is always there is always going to be trades. You just need to be patient. Don't chase don't chase anything. Um, the market will come to you. It's you just need to believe in your strategy and then wait for it to play out and then take the trade when the time is ready. Don't look for things that's not there. Exactly. See, you know, the hallucination is what they, AI, when AI starts making stuff up, they call it hallucination. I think they <laughs> should use that with traders. When the traders start seeing things, they're hallucinating too. But it's like you always say, Dr. Greg, trading under the influence. Um, so obviously, when when you make money and it it you you know it's possible, but it's very easy to get consumed. And when you start making money, uh, to be able to walk away. So that's one thing that that you taught me as well, and that I that I've had to learn um, because it's very e easy to get consumed and just want to jump in because everyone else is making money. Um, but you have to stick to your strategy. If it if it doesn't fit your strategy, don't. Don't do something that you don't feel comfortable with. Well said. Well said. Well said. You guys have any questions for for Cobus? I mean, you have a you know, these are not people that, you know, like you see something on YouTube, you can't, you know, you can type something in the chat box, but this is the this is the guy. These are the guys here who are making it happen. And they are and and they're here, right? And uh so um I'm just so very proud. Uh, and, and, and in fact, how long have we known each other, Thomas? Um, since since 2012, when you actually started Pip and Run while you were at FXCM. Oh um, my God! It, you go all the way back then. My guess. <laughs> <laughs> all the all the way back from when when you started live Pip and Run. Um, we had we had half an hour to an hour sessions in the morning. Um, so yeah, all the way from 2012. 2012, so it's like 11 years. Wow, yeah, man. I didn't it was a bit, of, a bit of a hiatus uh, in between. Um, but yeah, then uh, I managed to 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 track you down again at, uh, that was uh, 2018. And mm. then uh, yeah, I eventually got back into it. Yeah. So so, what, so from the turn, so when did the, the turnaround, so how long have you, have you been trading? Well, I've, I've been trading since since 2012, but it's always, it's, it's always been like, pirate trading like you always say with one eye closed um so so yeah it's then i, I obviously started uh, sort of lost contact with you and trying to trade on my own never just never worked properly and then um yeah i, I think it was in about 2018 when i when i decided to try and track you down again and um wanted to find out if you're still still doing the pip and run and what you were up to and you then told me about elite traders um, it then took me some time to to get my head around it, and then eventually joined joined the program um, a year ago now. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's 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 still still a learning curve. I mean, I learn every day. I mean, like you said, we've uh, we've got an awesome team. Um, all of the guys that's in the in the groups that that we chat with, that we share with. Um, so it's a great community to be part of, and that that's that's what helped me. I mean, like you said earlier. When, when I was in a dark place, and it still happens, but that, that's when I've got you to talk to and Jamie, that's always just a call away. So that, that's what really makes it worth it, that support to know there's somebody else on the other side of the line that, that's willing to, to talk me through, uh, through it when I, when I do go wrong and I just need that, uh, that talking to. Oh yeah, it, it's it's so important. And a lot of times people say, "Yeah, Greg is good. Yeah, the system is good," but the community, it, you know, is just really, really 
we have a really special, special group of people. I mean, anybody can make this much money while he's watching me. And, you know, I'm not giving me any signal. He's just doing it on a, he's learned how to fish. And uh, that makes me so very, very immensely proud. This is you know, a very, very happy day. Uh, you know, when I you know guys like, uh, you know, like Jeff, step, Jeff stepping up, but come on, Jeff, with silver, pony up into a new, you know, stepping up and then, and then Kovas just doing it on the, on the button like that. That should give you guys hope that this is real. Yes, you can do it because if these guys can do it, um, you know, you can do it too. And that's what's really important. And I, I want to thank you so much for guys sharing and coming online and uh, putting yourself out there like this and uh, doing it just like I used to. I mean, like, he's like, yeah, I did it in three minutes. I'm like, oh my God, this is like watching my own children, like trade, you know, my, my daughter, she's, she's long Amazon and she's like in Greenland and she's on top of the world right now. So I was like, you know, <laughs> um, but uh, I look at every single one of you guys who come, who trust me and invest in the program as my, as my child, as my prodigy. And uh, no, most of our stuff, come, most of our clients come from word of mouth. And so when I treat you right, that's how I get more, more students in the university. So um, I, my desire, my desire is be called a millionaire maker in which, you know, we're working on, you know, helping guys like Cobus and, and Jeff and, and, and Steve and Travis get, get hedge funds to be hedge fund managers. And then I'm, you know, I would get a little fee out of that male management fee. Um, but then, you know, they'll be able to trade, you know, not just hundreds of thousands of dollars, but millions of dollars um, using the, the, uh, my, my approach. And I, I model this after the, the, you know, Richard Dennis and the Turtle Traders. Richard Dennis, if you guys, you got any guys watch Trading Places and the dollar bet where, uh, with Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd? Well, the term traders was based on that in which uh, this man, Richard Dennis, had a proprietary system and he taught those guys, um, took 21 guys, 14 of them passed his challenge back then. This was uh, circa 1984. Okay, in fact, here's the ad that came out in the newspaper back in 1984. I was in college, so, and I didn't see this ad. But he says, uh, Richard Dennis is accepting applications for position of futures trader. Mr. Dennis and his associates will train a small group of applicants in his proprietary trading concepts. Successful candidates will then trade solely for Mr. Dennis. They will not be allowed to trade futures for themselves or others. Traders will be paid a percentage of their profits, the prop trading companies, and will be allowed a small draw. Prior experience in trading will be considered, but not necessary, right, Travis? Applicants should send a brief resume with one sentence giving their reasons for applying. c and Commodities, 141 West Jackson Street, Suite 2313, Chicago, Illinois, 60604. And applications must be received by October 1st, 1984. Now, you're, you're, uh, you, you, you missed that deadline, right? And he only taught 14, uh, you know, only 14. And those 14 became the most powerful hedge fund traders uh, in, in the world, right? The top performing 14 commodity trading advisors were all taught by Richard Dennis. You know, 124%, 14, 114, 107, 94, Chesapeake Bay, Philip Liu. These are the, those are the students and each of them has their, their own hedge fund. And this is the type of returns that they're doing. And, you know, I'll, I'll show you some of the returns like some of that our students are doing. And they're on track to actually beat these. And I'm not just training 14 people. I'm I'm expanding to train a thousand people, a thousand people in our, in our in our proprietary approach. I want them. I want each one of them to trade more and better than what I've ever traded before. Because why? I didn't have me, right? These guys have me. You guys have me too. So I well, I look forward to um, to working with you. Uh, let's see if any more questions in the chat. I see you guys got to run, you got to go. But yeah, um, in that movie, the whole idea, the premise was that they could take someone off the street like Eddie Murphy and turn him into a Wall Street professional and then take a guy who's a Wall Street professional and turn him into a um, uh, to a pimp, into a drug addict and homeless. 
and they bet $1. Remember those two guys, $1? And then coming to America, you see Eddie Murphy throwing them a stack of money. At, and, you know, if you never saw a trading place, you'd never understand why those two guys, you know, Don Amici and the other guy, they get that stack of money, right? They go, we're back in business, right? Right? So um, that's the whole, the, the uh, nature versus nurture that anyone given a, a proprietary system and and can discipline their mind can achieve these types of returns as well. And so, and I've proven this over and over again, um, and you know, having several million, multi-million dollar um, people who I've trained as well. And I would like you to be the next one, right? This is not hype. This is, it's, just, it's cool. You know, who else can say, you know, we are a coffee table. Well, I've done this. I just, well, I've got like 10 people, 100 people. I mean, help to make millionaires. It's a cool feeling. It's a really, it really is. You know, I had, you know, my attorney was able to, to set his family financially free, able to travel the world. And, um, and Phelps knows who he is. You know, we all, we know, we, we know who uh, Remo is and his wife, Svetlana. And, uh, and they, they travel the world and they're able to spend time with their kids. Why? Because they learned the system, right? And I, I would like for you to, to do the same. And uh, in this volatile market, I want to hold your hand every step of the way. And we have a great support staff that can help you realize your goals. So anyway, I've talked a lot. I want to thank you so much for being on this call. Make sure you reach out to, uh, you know, uh, to Nichelle or myself. And we will see you on the other side. Happy, happy trading. Happy pipping. And we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. God bless. Love you all. See you next Thursday. And let me know what, email me, let me know, um, you know what, what types of, uh, of, um, of content you want to learn next time, okay? Or oh, we can stick on this topic for a little bit more if you'd like. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. If you felt a spark here and want to see how these principles can be used in your own trading, go to www.elitetradersuniversity.com forward slash apply to book a free session with our team. We have helped hundreds of people remove the frustration and obstacles in trading to become consistent, highly profitable traders. These are proven principles that just work. Happy pipping!